to the <laughs> Welcome to today's show, Life Sciences, Crazy Limit. <coughs> I'm Lini. Hello. <laughs> that was you, you like to do that. You, oh, you like you it. love it, don't you? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing for the great level today? Human excretion. Mm -hmm. And I'll just keep what we said to ourselves. I was about to say, and then tell me what the no, thing you were No, we're not going to go that far. We're going to keep it nice and clean. <laughs> okay. My <laughs> sister, I hope you guys are excited for human excretion. Remember to hit us up on Facebook on facebook.com forward slash learn extra. Our Twitter handle at learn extra. You can get all the show notes, the videos, and the schedules on learnmindset.co.za. And we have a competition going on. Get connected. Do you want to explain it? No, 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 you go mad. I'm just thrilled. And I want more. Yes, we want more likes for you. Hey. I want more because <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> okay, so my message is all you need to do is go to our Facebook page. There's a link there. Instruction number one says you go to a link. You click on that link. It goes to a curio page. You enter that code. You choose your favorite teacher, Llewellyn. Then you go back to our Facebook page. You've got to emphasize the Llewellyn the, Yes, there are links there with forward slash with all your teachers, right? But you pick Llewellyn, forward slash Llewellyn. You click on that link. It will take you to Llewellyn's picture. You like Llewellyn's picture. He's sitting on about 135 likes right now. I think he's leading, actually. So just keep liking. Ask all your friends. Call your friends. If you've entered, call all your friends. Let's like Llewellyn's picture. Once you've done that, you go back to the competition post, and then you share it. All those people who share the post will stand a chance to win Voto Cup time. All those people who like Llewellyn's picture because he's a leading teacher will stand a chance to win a Sony Xperia L. How cool is that? Yes. It is brilliant. But come some more. It just shows me how much <laughs> of you watch my show. And, but please excuse the picture. Because the Yo, picture, it, it, you know, they could have picked a better <laughs> picture than that. Hey, what do you think? Yeah, it's very bad, guys. No, don't mind the picture. Like we said last week, excuse the picture. Just vote. Like like the picture. Don't don't look at the... Uh, it doesn't when, matter. When, when you look at it, close your eyes and picture <laughs> me here. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> One more competition, guys. Test yourself. If you want to win yourself this Casio calculator, all you need to do is go to our Facebook page. There will be a Test Yourself link there. I will post it just now. And then you click on the link. You complete all the questions. You fill in all your details. Click Submit, and you'll stand a chance to win this Casio calculator. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Anything free is awesome. Yes, what do you think? Always. And a Casio calculator is awesome. Uh, very. Because you'll use it from grade 8 all the Up way to matric. There's, there's no doubt about it. Yes. Right, so let's jump into the, how do I say it, the mess of the things. You know, the urine and, and, and all of that, the excretory part. Eh? How, we, how about we jump straight into that? Right, so <coughs> human excretion, plain and simple. We're going to start with that. If we have a look at the lesson description. In other words, what we're going to find out in this day. Well, as much as possible. Because, you know, we always run out of time for some reason. Because we talk too much. Oh, but that's what <laughs> makes it fun and loading. <laughs> right. So, if we have a look at it. We're going to define excretion and the need for excretion. Why do we need it? Of course we need to excrete. Why do we need, need to excrete? So that the body can remove, remove all the waste. What? All the... All the waste? Okay, yeah. All the stuff. All this stuff. She's getting there. Losing yeah, so that we can yes. get rid of. Well, we need to take stuff in. And yes. if we don't get rid of it, we're just going to be like it's a balloon. Gonna be we need to get yeah, rid of it's going to pile up. And That's then, uh, it. <coughs> so we're going to look at that, right? Then, let's see. We're going to look at the structure and function of the urinary system in terms of. So we're going to look at specific parts. For example, okay, we're going to have a look at the kidney, right? We're going to look at this funny word. Do you, do you know what that funny word is? Just look underneath kidney. Let's see if you can get it. Nephron. nephron. Ah, it's cool. The nephron. Very nice. We're going to have a look at ultra filtration. Okay. Filtration, plain and simple, okay, and how that works, because all of this is very, very important. And the last, we're going to have a look at tubular reabsorption. In other words, reabsorption to take back in, nice and easy. Okay, then with the understanding of homeostatic control of water and salts in the body. It's the biggest thing of the kidney. Now, yes. With the kidney, we're going to have a look at getting rid of or how the kidney gets rid of certain things or the, the excretory organs, okay? But it's very important about that water, and you will notice it. It's a little experiment that you can do all the time, but it's going to take a long time to do it. Right, we'll, we'll ask Looney to try it one day for us. Well, in a couple of days. That's how long it's going to take. Okay, first thing, 
definitions. Remember what I said about definitions? Let's see if Looney listens. Looney, please tell me about definitions. What can you tell me about definitions? Oh, wait, before we need the challenge question. Yes. Hey? <laughs> but tell me about definitions first what do before you mean? I do the challenge. What do I always say about definitions? What do you always say? I always say about definitions. I, you, do you say it when I'm here? Always. Are you sure? Um, As in like definitions? I know I say it because I'm here when I say it. <laughs> Am I here when you, you say, say it? You say it. You're there. You're sitting there. Definitions? Yes. What do you mean? Like you need to know your definitions. Why? Who? Okay. Hold on that thought. Okay. You think about it and get back to me. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's, let's go to the challenge question. <laughs> nice and simple. From the point where blood with urea, okay, that's, that's the dirty blood, okay? The blood with urea enters the renal artery. The renal means it's the artery that goes to the kidneys, okay? The renal artery give a detailed account in other words tell me exactly detail exactly what happens okay of the path of what urine until it leaves the body so you've got to tell me what happened from the start when the blood is in there or when the blood's got urine in it to what happens in that whole kidney right and then leaves that's what i'm asking but in detail and when i say detail i'm looking for specific things which you got to know okay now that is the challenge question. Don't be shy. Looney wants to read it out. So send it. Think about it. Send it. And it's here. Right. So Looney, about those definition things that I was telling you about. Mm. Right. <coughs> Definitions? That, that's not there. I was <laughs> clever this time. Today you're going to suffer, my girl. Right. Right. So if I have a look at it. A definition. You've got a paper which is 150 marks, Looney. You're listening. Mm -hmm. 150 marks. You've got section A, section B, section C. Section A is 50, section B is 50, section C is 50. Okay? Plain and simple. To become just to pass, okay, which is, I hate it, just to pass. In other words, you need 30. Everybody knows 30, right? But it's horrible. I don't want 30, I want 90. But just for the record, if the first 50 marks is multiple choice, match the columns, give the definition, give one word for. All of those things are definitions. You know your definitions and you can get brilliant marks. If you get full marks for that, you've passed the exam. How cool is oh, that? Oh, okay. That's just definitions. Yes. But wait, I can tell you this. If you do your definitions, the rest of the paper is easy. You understand. Exactly. Do the definitions and understand it. Trust me, you'll do so well. And then don't, don't forget your drawings and your labels and all of that. Right, so what I've done <coughs> is I've given this beautiful picture, right? Now, this here is the picture, if I can move it up too much. This is the picture of the excretory system, but not all the excretory systems, okay? I want you to think about it. Looney, where else can you get excretory systems? I know that we've got the kidneys right, and the bladder and all of that, where else do you think excretion takes place? Okay, try, try, we've got nothing to lose. The way, the way, oh, okay, <laughs> she's looking at the, um, the feces, how's that? There we go, feces coming out of the rectum. And you see, I wanted a biological term. A biological term, word you, you instead of like bum. Yes. <laughs> The bum. <laughs> no, it's not the bum. It's the rectum. It's blah. It's fine. And the is anus. that fine? Is that the, fine? The anus is perfect. Coming out the okay. anus through the rectum. That's perfect. Okay. So we've got the elementary canal, which is where food goes in the mouth, down into stomach, small and large intestine, all the way out. <coughs> okay. So we've got that one. I've told you about the kidneys and, and the, the bladder and so on. Where else? Come. Where else does excretion take excretion. place? Waste product. Waste? Yeah. Sweat. Sweat, very nice. I like that. So on the skin, I was that's cool. As cool. That, that is brilliant. Sweat. One more. One more. So it's, and I can see you under the limelight sweating here. Right, one more. <laughs> one more. You said sweat. Sweat. Feces. Bladder. Mm -hmm. Right, the bladder and all of that. Yes, one more. One more. Looney, do I yeah. ever breathe this hard, girl? Breathing. Yeah, breathing. Well done. Really? Yes. How? You're taking oxygen. What's our waste product? Oh, carbon dioxide. You oh, see, okay. She is going to learn. It's simple. Okay. <laughs> it takes a while, but she learns. It's, it's fine. All it's fine. I'm there. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, let's have a look at this. Okay. We're mostly now going to have a look at the urinary system. Okay, because it's a big thing that they're looking at. And it's very important, this thing. Okay, if this thing breaks down, we are in trouble. It cleans 
the blood. Very important, it cleans the blood. Okay, so if we have a look at this, right, we've got the artery, plain and simple, that's the blood coming towards the kidney. Okay, then we're having a look at, uh, well, this is just the plain simple, the diaphragm, uh, the adrenal glands, you know, all the normal stuff. Okay, then we've got the right kidney, right, the renal vein, okay, the bladder, sphincter, very important, sphincter. Looney, no, 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 Looney, Looney will know this. <laughs> I want you to tell me, what is a sphincter? Hey, Looney? What is, don't, 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 don't show, don't show. <laughs> I can see you. I said, Am I, I right you though? Know. Am I right? right? Yeah, okay. you're right. For once you're right. It's because remember all my stuff I've told you. Right. What is a sphincter? Right. <coughs> there we go. It's a sphinx, sphincter muscle. Very simple. Okay. Inferior vena cava. In other words, it goes up to the heart. Okay. The left kidney, the renal artery, right. Abdominal cavity, the ureter. And then you urethra. It's two different. Ureta, urethra. Okay. One comes before the bladder, one comes after the bladder. You gotta remember which is which. I always get confused. Always. Okay. Now, if you have a look, just just why I never get these confused, what what I did, okay? There is an extra thing here. Can you see it? It's called an H, right? And the H comes from the bladder. So you retire comes first, then it ends up in the bladder. From the bladder, as it's going out, it goes to you, the re -thra. Check. Hi. Can you remember that? No. You, no. It's fine. You see, she's not listening. No, I'm typing. <laughs> she's not typing. <laughs> now, what I want you to do, we're going to have a look at this beautiful thing, okay? The kidney. Now, the kidney is magnificent. It is... <coughs> Such a good organ, right? It's specially adapted for its function. It's beautiful and it's so complicated. But it's easy if you listen. Okay, firstly, here we go. Urine drains from the renal papilla. Okay, now that is this simple part. Look here. They always show you with a diagram. I always do that to make sure that you understand it, right? And here it is. This part here, that's the pelvis, right? We don't want the pelvis. We're looking at where the veins and everything come in. Okay, now it's the main part. Watch, here it is. There's the renal papaya. Look at it. That piece there. Oh, well, let me change colors. Let's get some different colors here. It's this main little piece over there. It's just before the, the, um, the what are those things called that we find in, in Egypt? The pyramids. pyramids. That's one. Okay, it's just by, by the pyramids. Okay, it's below the pyramids. Then, if we have a look at it, into the maid of the minor calicis, okay, which is, if we have a look, it's just, you see this dark blue section? So, this dark blue section, this part where I'm drawing in now, this yellow piece, right? That's the minor. In other words, the small one, okay? Then we get the main one, okay? If we have a look at it, where's the main one? I want to make sure that I've got it here, okay? That is this part. Watch carefully. I'm doing this so that you can understand. You see that yellow piece there? That's the major, okay? Just before it, I'm gonna do it in pink quickly. This piece here, I don't know if you're gonna see it, but that pink piece is the minor. You all understand it? And then you get the last one, which is brilliant because every time I do it, all that goes through my mind is hip, hip, for some reason. And I've got a friend that mentions the only way that I'm ever going to remember this, right? Hip, what, who was it? Can you remember who was it that was so good with throwing their hips? It was a singer, an old singer. Elvis Presley. Elvis, which is your pelvis. Oh, right? really? Cool. So the <laughs> pelvis, right? I'll never forget it. You, oh, pelvis, you know, The Elvis. pelvis. This here is the <laughs> pelvis. Okay, so that's how it works. So what it says here, if I go back, where is my white? Plain and simple, right? And then into the the major, right, and then finally collects in the pelvis, which is the largest cavity, which leads into the urethra. Okay, so that is this part here. That goes through there, and it goes where? To the bladder. Nice, simple, easy. Now, that is a beautiful drawing. Now, we need to learn it in a little bit more detail. A little bit more detail. You need to know how to label this, okay? They won't ask you to draw it, I don't think, right? They will ask you to draw a thing called a nephron, right? Or the Bowman's capsule. But this part, they won't ask you to draw, but they will ask you to label it. Right, now, while you're on a break, don't forget you've got that
question, the challenge question that I've given you, right? Plus, you've got to tell me what a sphincter is, unless somebody's already given it to you. Uh -uh. Nobody? Come on. Right? You can give one of those. And then third and most importantly, you've got to do what, Looney? Come on, look at this gorgeous face. Vote. There vote. we go. Vote. vote. Like, like the picture. Like, like the, the picture. picture. Right, yes. Looney. All right. My set is a quick congratulations to Bolo Ayodele. You have won yourself a Casio calculator from the test yourself. Well done. Yes. <laughs> so go like, like, like. Let's go to the break and then we'll see you afterwards. <laughs> Welcome back, my sisters, from the break. Llewellyn. Hello. Now, you've got to. Those first two that sent in, tell me exactly what they said, because that was beautiful. Okay. Freddy Muleya says, a sphincter is an an ooh, anatomical structure, a circular muscle that normally maintains constriction of a natural body passage or orifice, and which relaxes as required by normal psychological functioning. And then Gibbon says, sphincter is circular muscles found at the end of the esophagus, cardiac sphincter, and stomach pyloric. That's it? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now, <coughs> I'm very impressed with those answers. Very impressed. But let me tell you something. I know you found those out of your textbooks. You're that, especially the first one. Yes. Now, what I know, I, I, it's brilliant. The oh, here's brilliant. another one from Twitter. Yeah, let's hear. Uh, Tokelo says, a sphincter is a ring of muscle surrounding and serving, to, and serving to guard or close an open tube, I think such as the anus. Yes. Okay. Now, what I want you guys to do, Okay, it's no use. Now, that's brilliant. And I know you know what you're talking about because you've read it. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not a bad thing that I'm saying. What I'm saying is you need to be able to put that in your own words. It's very simple. A sphincter is a round muscle found at the end of an opening or an end of a tube when you stop things from going in or out or you control it. So when it contracts or relaxes, it opens and closes so that things can pass through it. It's that simple. You try not, not to use big words because you're going to forget them at times. And if you don't forget them, then you are very good. Then I'm very impressed. Now, if you did those answers off by heart from your heads, then I'm, then I'm the most happiest man on earth. You know what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. right? But I need you to understand them like I just told you. You must be able to say it without looking through a textbook. Right? It must be something that just makes sense. Looney was very clever. When I said, I know Looney, Looney can tell me. <laughs> Looney went, went like this automatically. And off, when I went into the break, I said, now Looney, tell me. She goes, it's that round muscle <laughs> that is found just be, uh, uh, underneath the, the stomach and the one just behind the anus. Right, so that's how she remembers him. And I know why she remembers him, because she stuck her finger in the digestive one that we did. Yes. Can you remember, Looney? Of course. Of course, <laughs> and she <laughs> loves it. Right, now. We've got, she's, she's laughing. Yeah, I love right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the next one. Right. Now we're going to go through this big thing, right? And this big thing is ultra fil filtration, right? Now, it's telling me how filtration happens, okay? Now, if you have a look at this, before we go through this, this whole big thing, what I need to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and I'm going to explain it without the words First, I did this for a reason, because you must be able to do this. Okay, <coughs> now, you've got this thing inside the kidney, okay? Now, remember, the kidney was, was something that looked like that. Can you remember? Huh? It was simple. And then it had this funny little tube-like stuff, which was called your pelvis. Can you remember? And then I said, said to you, just on the edge, you got those little lines, right? And I said it was called your, your, um, your pyramids. Can you remember? Okay, now, those pyramids is what we're gonna look at now. Okay, what those pyramids actually do. Now, those pyramids are tons and tons and tons of a thing called a nephron. Okay, now the nephron is very important. The nephron is the most important thing when it comes to the kidney, because with that nephron, that's what cleans the blood. Okay, so if I have a look at it, in the nephron, you're gonna get blood coming in, Am I right? There it is. Blood coming in. And of course, blood's got to go. Right. So, and blood coming out. Nice and simple. Right. 
And you know, because of your circulatory system, we go into these little, little capillaries. Can you remember? It goes from vein, uh, uh, arteries to arterioles to, ven uh, to, to capillaries to venules to veins. It goes smaller and smaller. And that's where we're going to find this thing called the glomerulus. Okay? And the glomerulus comes and it it's becomes small little things. It goes like this, right? Full of little veins. And then it leaves again, right? And around that, you get a thing called the the Bowman's capsule, okay? Now the Bowman's cap, now, now remember, I haven't explained anything yet, I'm just showing you what's going on, and they could ask you to draw this, right? So, if we have a look at it, it goes like this, round, back, there, it does this, okay? And then you get the distal convoluted tubule, which is this one, okay? Then you get the descending loop of Henle, you get the ascending loop of Henle, and you get the collecting duct. That's what this whole structure looks like. There we go, plain and simple. That is what we call the, um, the, the, the Malpighian body. Nice, easy, and simple, right? The Malpighian body, very, very, very important. Right, without the Mal Malpighian body, we've got nothing to get through, okay? Now, with the Malpighian body, what happens? It's a quick, demonstration of what the blood comes in right the blood comes in there and it's dirty and it's got a high pressure now you get the afferent and you get the efferent right the afferent is much bigger the efferent is a lot smaller the main reason for that is there's lots of stuff coming in here right lots and lots and lots and as they're coming in there lots right and it goes into the smaller area we're going to increase the pressure am i right Looney? Mm -hmm. we're going to increase the pressure and if we increase that pressure then in this part here, in the Bowman's capsule, all the stuff is going to be passed out. Now, you've got to understand that everything gets passed out. It's got little holes in it, right, so things can be passed out. The only things that don't get passed out is blood, right? Everything else, water, salts, minerals, everything gets passed out into the Bowman's capsule, right? And then what is left, whatever is finished and stays in, leaves through the efferent. You all got that? nice and simple nice and simple okay then you've got the first one the distal convoluted tubular which is this part here okay and i've drawn it straight normally it's not straight okay but if we have a look at it okay this part here this main part is where you're going to get reabsorption it is a very 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 important piece okay this is the part where because we put everything into that bowman's capsule as it goes through the distal convoluted tubule, reabsorption happens. So everything that we need gets sucked back up, okay? So the vein, the, the arteries in that are all coming out here and they're going close to this part again, right? And as they're going close, that all the stuff that we want gets sucked back into the blood, right? And all the stuff we don't stays inside you, okay? Now, we're going to go through this next thing called the descending loop of Henle. Okay, here it is, there it is. And what happens with the descending and the ascending loop of Henle, it's very important. This is where you get that thing called the sodium pump. I know it sounds f f like ridiculous, but it's a very, very important. Because this part, this little piece here, so let me just change colors. This part here is very, very, very important for the hydration or the dehydration of humans. Okay, so Looney's listening very carefully, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> she needs this. She's a sta fantastic sports girl, right? So she needs to know about dehydration. Now, why are you laughing? No. I'm serious. Yes. Good. Now, <laughs> what happens is, <laughs> if we have a lot of water available, okay, and there's lots of water in us, right, we can get rid of a lot of water. Am I right? So because of that, the water is going to travel down this pipe, all the way back and out there to the, collect, the, the collecting duct. But if we don't have a lot of water, we want to grab the water back. Am I right? Because remember, everything's going to this Bowman's capsule and, uh, and across the, the, the distal convoluted tubule. Right? Everything's going there. Now, when it comes to here, yeah, there's still water in. So now we need to pull that water back into the body. So we call this thing called the sodium pump. And what we actually do is we pull sodium, which is Na, right? We pull it out. We actually do it with potassium and sodium, okay? Because it's a salt, 
okay? They pull it out, they put the sodium here, the Na, right, and all of that, and what happens is it pulls the water out. Why would it pull the water out? Hey, Looney, what do you think it would be? <coughs> why would, if we take salt and we take it out and we put it here, why would the water come back this way? Why would it go to the salt? Salt absorbs water. Okay, so we're looking at salt absorbs water, but we've put the salt there for a reason. Mm. Now remember, in the body, if I'm not mistaken, what does everything in the body want to be? It wants to be equal. 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 Ready? Can you remember? Everything wants to be equal. Okay. So if there's 10 liters of water here, mm -hmm. would there rather be 10 liters here? Or would there rather be 10 liters here? Or would it rather want 5-5? Five, 5-5. Five? Five, five. Five, five. It wants to be even. Right. So now, because there's so much salt here, and there's not no salt, salt in here, the water wants to balance it out. So what does the water do? The water leaves. Right? And that's how we collect our water. You all understand? And then all what's left is amino acids and urea and all of that. And that goes to the, collect, the, the, the collecting duct, right? And it um, gets collected. Nice and simple. Right. So that, that is how the nephron roundabout works. It's plain, it's simple, and it's easy. Right. So now, if we go to Looney. Looney, sweetie pop. While I'm just wanting to get some questions, because I think we need a bit of questions. Now, in actual fact, before I go to the questions, I want to show you what I was talking about. So if we look at this, right, that's the nephron again, plain and simple, right? And the nephron, as you saw, right, you get the Bowman's capsule, right, the distal convoluted tubule, right, we get the sodium pump. Can you see the Na? And as the Na gets pushed out of here, water gets reabsorbed into the body, and now we've got more water. That was a, a quick, quick and easy way of showing you. Right, but what I want to do, I want to do some questions. So while I'm getting the questions, I want you to go to Looney, and I want you to, let's see if she can answer a couple of questions while I'm talking to her. So Looney. She can answer. She can answer, <laughs> yes. Looney, please explain something to me. Uh -huh. On a hot day, no, let, yeah, on a hot day, how many times do you go to the toilet? Oh, not as much. No, think about a it. A lot. On a hot day. On a, a lot. hot day. No. Think about it. On a hot it. day. Yeah. Do you go to the toilet a lot? No. No. And what because about you go to, when it's cold, you Why? go like Why? a lot. Why? Please explain that to me. Because, because that's summer. one thing I could never get is why on a hot day do you not go to the toilet as much? But on a cold day, it must be the amount of coffee you, we no, drink. No. Doesn't it also have to do with something about your body temperature okay, what's as well as... It? Like, when it's hot, he sweats. Yes, yeah, so tell me about that. Like, your body is excreting the liquid from yeah, but wha wha why, sweating. But why is that such a problem? Why do you, what does sweat got to do with going to the toilet and weeing? It's, it's, it's e e equilibrium. Equilibrium. <laughs> you just thought of any word that was. Now, Looney, let me, let me tell you this. You right. <laughs> no, you, you right. So I'm, I'm happy with your answer so far. So mm -hmm. don't, don't quit on me. You're yes. doing very well. <laughs> so the question is, why on a hot day mm -hmm. do you go less than when it's a cold day? The, the sweat. Yes, Okay. Yes. Now my question is, and what has the sweat got to do with the wee or the urine? Try, try and think. What are they both? Liquids. They're both liquids. What do they both have in them? Salt. Okay, they've both got salt, right? They've got urea. And they've got, what's that main thing we want to keep or get rid of? I was talking about it a few seconds ago. We can normally get it out of a tap. Water. Water, <laughs> very nice. So, <coughs> on a hot day, mm -hmm. you will notice that you perspire or yes. sweat. We don't sweat, we perspire. And we women... We perspire, you sweat. No, 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 no. Oh, we men, have a like, young Men perspire. Thing. And then Woman, we glow. You glow. <laughs> I'm liking that. We glow. Woman glow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Right. There's ah. nothing. <laughs> right. Now, Looney, you'll notice that on a hot day, mm -hmm. because it's so hot, we don't, we sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what happens is the body absorbs all the water from the kidney saying, hold on, I need to cool my body down. So instead of sending all this liquid to the bladder, it's going to be wasted anyway. Oh. So what we do is we send it to the skin and let it go on top of the skin and then get evaporated. And that is why your salt, oh, your, your sweat, sweat is, is so salty. salty, is because it's got urine in it. Okay. Urea and all that other waste products. That's why you can stink. Yes, the stink is from bacteria, but that's the whole point. It stinks. And, and on it's a there. cold day? 
on a cold day, your body says, okay, I don't need to sweat. And so all the liquid gets stuck back in there, the nephron takes it right to the bladder and out the urethra. Cool. Nice and simple. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, questions. I thought I'd bring a couple of these in. It's nice and simple. Okay, study the following. Let's go to a different color. We'll go to pink for you, Haluni. I don't like pink. You don't like what color Yellow. do you Yellow. Like? Yellow. Yes. Yes, a woman after my own heart. <laughs> eh? Right. So study the following table that shows the flow rate and concentration of certain substances taking at different regions A, B, C, and D of the nephron in a human kidney. Okay. So there it is. Nice and simple. Parts A, B, C, D. Okay. It says the flowing rate, three meters cubed per minute. Okay, three, cent three, three meters, wow, three centimeter cubes per minute, right? And the proteins, the glucose, the sodium ions, the ammonium ions, and the urea. That's what they've given you. And the first question is, state with a reason which of the parts, anyone, A to D, right, of the nephron represents the following. So we've got to say which one which one is where on the nephron? Remember, we've got the, the Bowman's capsule. We've got the distal convoluted tubule. We've got the loop of Henle. We've got the, what's the last, last second, last, last one? Think about it. I'm not going to give them everything, hey? They mm -hmm. need to give me some. Yes. Okay, there's that last, before the, collect, the, the, the collecting duct, we've got the, the distal convoluted tubule, and we have the, I need that one. Give it to me quickly. Send it. Right? Looney, do you know what it is? No. <laughs> Get rid of the dis. Anyway, so. Question. Afferent. What are you talking about? Well, distal convoluted tubule. Oh, okay. Get rid of the dis. Like, it okay. would be? Con conva. That was very good. Right. Now, <laughs> if we have a look. The afferent arteriole, where would you find the afferent arteriole? If we have a look at this. Now remember, the afferent arteriole is that just before the Bowman's capsule where it comes in, right? And there's high pressure. And that high pressure is very, very important, okay? So there's a lot of pressure. And there will be a lot of stuff inside, a lot of proteins. So let's see. Four, 240, 2,000. 2,000, let's look at the proteins. A lot of protein. What do we need to do? can only be one. It has to be simple. It has to be D. Okay? Contains proteins and a high flow rate. That's what it does. Contains protein, very high flow rate, very important. The next one, the Bowman's capsule. Right? Now, remember I told you what the Bowman's capsule is? The Bowman's capsule is that round part. Okay? That's very, that's next. That's almost next. So if we have a look at it, what's next? It would be? B. That's also high pressure. Remember, everything's flowing in there. So it'll have the high pressure part. So if I had to look at it, it has to be B. High concentration of glucose, but no proteins. So where's my pen again? Okay, it's got no proteins. If you have a look, remember, in the Bowman's capsule, right, they've got these little holes. Okay, and those little holes around the, that glomerus that's on the inside, okay, it's passing out all the stuff, but those holes are only big enough for certain things to go through. No protein will go through. And that's why when it came to the afferent arteriole, it had a lot of protein. But when it comes to the next one, right, the Bowman's capsule, no protein because protein stayed behind. Hey, Looney, do you understand this? I'm going to give you a test after <laughs> this, I'm telling you. You're not listening today. I, I can see, of course you're listening. I mean, I don't expect anything less from you. <laughs> Next one, the loop of Henley. Uh, why would they call it the loop of Henley? I would never understand. Why not the loop of James? I mean, that's my surname, James. On, on huh? What is that? The loop of Henley. Yes. The loop of Henley. Remember I said to you, you get the Bowman's capsule, you get the distal convoluted tubule, you get the loop of Henley, and then you get the, uh, the, the convoluted tubule, and then you get the... Collecting ducks. Do you all get that? Right. Now, I'm going to do this last one. Where would you find, what, which one would you find as the loop of Henley? It would be C. It's the next one, right? There's also still a lot of pressure. Still got to push out, but not as much as the rest. Okay? And the main reasons, if you have a look here, that I've put here for you, right? No glucose, the sodium ions, and the urea is lower in concentration than in D. Because you've only got two left. Nice and simple. Right, so, 
What I think you do is a break, because I've given you a lot about this nephron and that, right? Please don't forget, it's not as difficult as you think. Just enjoy it, okay? I've given you some questions. Hopefully, you've given me that question that I want back. I know that she's answered it, but just send it with to make sure that we all know what's going on, okay? You've answered the sphincter, and it's time to have a look at that, um, that challenge question. Hey, what do you think, Lisa? Mm -hmm. when cool. We, when we come back. When we come back. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, Sessions, we are going to take a very quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you straight after this. <laughs> so I'm supposed to do something so we do it just because Oh, I it's my it. girl <laughs> Let's hear it Hey Belinda <laughs> Belinda Faith <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl <laughs> Serenading somebody we know that is perfect Right <laughs> Well done Lunia, I'm impressed <laughs> but Guys, it's just that Belinda in our ear There's a song about her That's why I had to do this Peer pressure I had to sing <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, <laughs> tell me about, we mm -hmm. spoke about the proximal, well, the convoluted, tu the, dis the, what's it? Huh? the distal convoluted tubule, and I wanted to know what the other one is, and it would be? It's the proximal conv convoluted convv tubule, conv yes. the proximal convoluted tubule. Mm -hmm. The one, okay, does reabsorption, okay, the distal convoluted tubule, uh, the, the, the proximal convoluted, the distal convoluted tubule does absorption. The other one does the water coming back in. Okay, so that controls the water, and the other one controls reabsorption of all the other stuff, all the good minerals. Right, now, what the question was, the challenge question, if I remember nicely, okay, we still want yellow, hey, Okay, mm -hmm. it was, from the point when blood with urea enters the, the renal artery, give a detailed account of the path of the urea until it leaves the body. A detail. Now, I'm going to show you the answer. Okay? But before I show you the answer, does any, has anybody answered, given me an answer? The challenge. The challenge question. I'll check now. You see, I was on questions. You see, now, on the challenge. now normally no, what happens is she's on the board. I was on questions from like them. This. You see now, I'm, yeah. now, I'm going, I'm going. Yes, we have answers. Le let me hear it. Okay. Tero is saying blood that Sorry, who, who, who? Tero. Apane. Or Tero. Young Roy. Young Roy. Okay, cool. <laughs> blood that contains u mm? urea. Yes. Yeah. Enters the gluma glumaru. It's glumaru. Okay. Through the renal. <laughs> In the gluma. Glu no, no, no. no. What is this? What is this? Gluma? <laughs> The glomerus? Yes, yes that's right. <laughs> Water and salt pass into the bowman. Capsule? Yes, through specialized cells called pod oof, podocytes. Yes. Which have small pores on them and the blood plasma remain in the gloom and pass out through the renal vein. And then Lesejo says it enters the that gloom thing. Yeah. And the gloom filtration takes place and in the distal convoluted tube takes place excretion and through the collection duct the urethra urethra bladder and urethra yeah, so it's urethra then urethra okay okay <coughs> and then on pe on pe mm -hmm. says the urea is removed from the body by kidneys in a separate process as the urea urea as the urea is produced, it leaves the, the liver in the bloodstream and becomes stored temporarily in the bladder before it gets out in the form of urine through the urethra. Okay. Now, that, that's the one I need, need you to remember. That's not in detail. That's a urine, kidney, bladder. I need to know what happens in the kidney. The other two are doing quite nicely. Yes, let me hear. Next one. One to hand Jabulo. Yeah, yes. We are saying the urine drains into the renal pelvis, passes down the ureta. What yeah. is, is that one? Ureta Enter, first. Okay. Enters the bladder and eventually leaves the body via the urethra. Collecting duct unites to papillary ducts, which drain into... What is this? C-O-L-Y-C-E-S? It's a calyxis. Okay. And then into pelvis. From the pelvis, the urine passes into... Ureta, which conveys it to the bladder. Very nice. Now, now, if I have a look at it, have you noticed a lot of them are saying the same thing, but some of them have Do you something want another one? different. Here's yes. another nice one. This Joseph, is nice one. The urea and blood in the renal artery from the aorta enters the kidney. 
From there, the blood enters the renal vein and the urea enters the pelvis, which then leads to the ureter tube. Yeah. And the ureter leads to the bladder where re urea gets stored temporarily. And the urethra, which is a tube from the bladder, will transport the urea to the outside when you pee. Nice. But you're still missing important points. Okay. Okay. Now, if I have a look at it all together, you guys are doing very nicely. If I asked for a together answer, you together would have got most answer. of it right. Right? Yes. But uh, some people are giving me like this. Other people are giving me this. It is a collection of all. Okay, that's why we said in detail. It's very important. Now, here we go. I'm going to show you so that I make sure that you get... No, 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 not circles. Touch. There we go. I don't know why this... No, 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 wait. What hey. are you doing? Hey, <laughs> hey. We can't do that. Not today, right? <laughs> Touch, it opens. Simple. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Yay, right. <laughs> so let's have a look at it. Okay, so firstly, the urea, okay? We need to get it right from the beginning, right? I'm going to use, let's say, a different blue. The urea drain, well, yeah, urea drains from the renal papalia, right? Right? I'm never going to get those big words right, so, 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 so deal with it, right? So if I have a look at it, they, dra they go to there, into the minor calyx, right? Now, what we're doing is even before we get into this whole kidney part, okay? What they're saying is, remember, I said, said to you, we've got the kidney there it is okay there we go okay and the kidney's got those pyramids am i right the beginning part of the pyramid that part there is called your papilla right then we're gonna go to the minor calyx right which is the first part it's that little piece right and there'll be another little piece on for the next one and there'll be another little piece on for the next one right then it'll go to the major, so it's where the big ones join in. So that, that'll be the major. And then it will go to the pelvis. And the pelvis area is this whole piece here. Okay, so that's what it's looking at, first of all. So it goes into the minor, then into the major, nice and simple. Then it finally, finally collects in the pelvis, which is a large cavity, nice and large, large cavity. So everything can grab together and lead into the ureter. That's what some of you were saying. Am I right? Can you remember those? Right. So some of you were saying it's very important. But you've also, some of you were saying other things. Like, for example, blood filtered when it flows through the glomerulus. Okay, remember, glomerulus is that hole where the afferent arterial comes in and becomes a small little thing inside the Bowman's capsule, right? Where the pressure is a lot more because it's gotten smaller and it's pushing all the stuff out, right? It's where filtration takes place, right? The liquid passes into the Bowman's capsule. See, you guys are getting it. The li liquid passes into the Bowman's capsule and travels through the nephron, right through that whole nephron, through the distal convoluted tubule down the, the, uh, the proximal, dis the proximal, no, distal convoluted tubule, down the loop of Henle, proximal convoluted tubule, and then down the collect collecting duct, right? Some of the components of the filtration are reabsorbed back into the blood system and some waste are put in just by going past the renal artery, uh, the, um, going through the distal and convoluted tubules and, of course, past the, um, the, the loop, loop of Henle. Please understand, if I had to just... I'm going to leave that for two seconds. If I had to take... I'm just going to take white now for a second. If I had to take this... Bowman's capsule and I did that and I had the convoluted tubule and you go down and back up and there in the collecting duct. That's round about what the nephron looks like. Please understand that on that, and I'm going to make sure that you understand, I'm going to use pink or red, right? On that, there are blood vessels running across this all the time, right? All the time. Main reason, it needs to absorb stuff, right? And it's all over the place. So to make sure that the blood is all around it, so that reabsorption and giving off other waste products that didn't filter out quick enough can still be put in there, okay? So there we go. <coughs> Carry on with my beautiful blue. Okay, simple. Then, um, if I bring this down, this up, there we go. And add it to the filtrate. So all this extra bit that is put into the, this, this tube, the, 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 the 
loop of Henley, for instance, and the distal convoluted tubule and the proximal convoluted tubule, all of those, as it gets more and more, it adds to it, right? The liquid that finally leaves the nephron via the collecting duct, right, is urine. That's plain and simple. Then you're going to get, this contains waste products that is excreted from the kidneys via the bladder. Simple, easy, no, no problem. Okay, now, the nephron is a simple thing. Okay, the nephron, if I have a look at it, if I took that kidney, I'm just going to draw the kidney one more time. Okay, because I, I know it's strange, but if I draw the kidney like that, nice and big, right? It's divided into two sections, right? It's got like a double section, okay, which you've got to know, plain and simple. When we have a look at the nephron, the nephron, one is in the medulla, one is in the cortex, okay? And it actually gives it one of these. Remember how I've been drawing it? It's a C, okay? Goes there, loop of Henle, all the way up, back, collecting duct, collecting tubules. So you see how that works. Now these things here, this part here, if I, if I had a, let me see if I can get another pen here. This piece here, well, this piece here would actually be your pyramids almost. Okay, it's going to be your pyramids. And this is why certain things come from certain parts. Okay, that is why we have the, the, the calyxes, right? And the papayas, right? Pap papilla, right? Sorry, I'll get them, the papilla, right? And you've got the, the, the pelvis and the collecting, all of that collects together because there is tons, and I mean tons. It's actually, if I had to try and do it quickly, it's like this. It's millions and millions and millions. You see how, like, I've put lots, okay? So I've just increased that with a mi microscope to have a look at it. There's tons of them. Okay, so just so that you do understand. You've got to understand that. It's not one big one that does it. It's millions. It's tons. And hopefully, I will show you. Next, next week, hey, Looney? Let's see if we can, we can get some kidneys going on here, hey? Next week. Next week, we get some kidneys. She loves the blood and the gore when the, hey? Dissecting. The dissecting and the cutting. Right, so <laughs> we'll do that next week. Yes. But what I need, need you to do is I'm going to go through this kidney. I want you to have a look at this. Okay? Now, have you noticed they all look similar? Okay? These little things here, these pyramids, right? They are where you're going to find your nephrons. It's nice and easy. Okay, so let's start. Let's give a nice one. No, let's give a nice one here. First one says, name the organ represented in the diagram. Looney, come on, give me what that is, girl. A kidney. Yes, <laughs> it's a kidney. Very good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, let's have a look at the next one. Identify, identify region A and part, B, uh, part A, B, and D. Okay, let's have a look. A, B, and I said D. D. Okay, now, A, it's either the cortex or the medulla. One of the two. It means it's either the inside or the outside. Okay? B, we've got that nice and simple. I keep talking about it. It's called the pyramids. And D is called your pelvis. Okay, so now me, it's very simple with me. If I had to look at A, right? A is definitely your cortex. Okay, so you've got your cortex. Okay, because the, med the, the, med uh, stay there. the medulla is this part. Uh, wait, let me do this. Let me get this orange out. The medulla is this part here. Okay, you're not going to see that much, but that's the medulla, right? The cortex is on the outer part. Then you're going to get, of course, which is the one that they want you, want you to ask, the pyramids. And then the last, we've got Elvis with the hips, which is your? Pelvis. Good girl. She, she doesn't even think about it. She just answers now. Elvis. That's my girl. Right. Now, give the function of each of the following parts. E. What does E do? What does anything on the outside of an organ do? Come, Looney. What does anything on the outside of an organ do? <laughs> Protect. That's my girl. You see, just one little thing and she gets it. <laughs> right? It's simple. How did you get that? 
How did you get that from me going like this? <laughs> protection. Very nice. That's exactly what it does. Okay? It is protection. Okay? And what I want to do is I've got F and I've got three functions in that. Right. So it's all there. What I'd like, like you to do is go and get these notes. Go have a look at them. I've put a lot of questions in so that you guys can do it. Right. So don't stress. Go through it. Don't forget to vote. And I will see you next week. All right. Mindsetters, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, we don't get through any of your questions, so send them, se we'll send them through to learn.mindset.ca.today for slash helpdesk. And the Learn Extra Life Sciences Helpdesk is proudly brought to you by Axel. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. <laughs>